Yes, welcome back to Christmas and PC. Now we're going to do Hippogriff Flying, which is really hard to do on keyboard and mouse. What's that thing? Oh, I hope Hagrid doesn't expect us to touch it. Disgusting creature. <laughs> welcome to Care of Magical Creatures class. I'll be teaching you this term. I'd like to introduce you to Buckbeak. <laughs> He's a hippogriff. Today, you'll be learning how to ride him. You first, Harry. Just walk up to Beaky and give him a bow. Yeah, he's the only person I can find. You won't catch me bowing to that filthy beast. Hello, Buckbeak. There's Even a good hippogriff. Your goal is to fly That's through really enough bats versions. to beat the top number on the counter. As soon as you're ready, just click the right mouse button to make Beaky fly. You can go left or right. Fuck, it's so hard. You gotta use the mouse to, um. Bloody. Made it! Gotta get 1500, which is pretty easy for this, but. Um. It does get harder. Gotta get the top four to be able to um get the wizard card. Yes. It probably take me a while to try to get them all. There's a good fellow. Hey, Two thousand five hundred. Oh, you go around. Okay. Card. That was really ah, well done, Harry. Cards. Come back to the paddock any time you want another go. There's five courses to fly in all, and you can win a collector's card on each of them. He doesn't say you got to beat the top I score. I bet you're not dangerous at all, are you? You great ugly brute! Oh. Oh. Look at me! It's killed me. My you're not dying. Gods. That was a lot more violent than I thought. You think you'll be alright? Um. Of course. Mad and Polk can make cuts in about a second. You can bet Malfoy will make something out of this. That actually hurt Harry a lot more than about like, the Hagrid, movie, probably. Malfoy playing Slammed him right in the injury. fucking head. He was worried about Buckbeak, too. Where'd Hermione go, anyway? It's nearly time for Transfiguration class. Um, you two ready for class? Are you all right? What's happened? I'm just a bit tired, that's all. We'd better get up to the first floor, or we'll be late for Transfiguration. Uh, we but could I'm take the first floor portrait to shortcut. Buckbeak or go flying. round by the stairs. You lead the way, Harry. Right. First floor, transfiguration class. Doesn't take long to get back there. Oh, the pumpkins have respawned. Oh, now there's a Gryffindor. Hey, Harry! There. Over here! Fancy buying a collector's card, Harry? Oh, this is probably when they start, yeah, charging pumpkin pasties. By Odney. Great! It's a deal! Thanks a lot! Yeah, sometimes they charge bloody pumpkin pasties for these. It's a bit annoying. Uh... Which... Cliodney. Medieval. Dates unknown. Irish druidess who discovered properties of moon dew. Ooh. Hey, 
Hey Potter, interested in buying a collector's card? 150 beans, Edgar Stronger. I'll buy that. Nice Dang, doing that's business a lot of with you. fucking beans. Yeah, prob oh, if wait, no, no, that's, yeah. I'll look at the Quidditch cards after. Where did we get all the vampires? I actually don't remember. They might have been on the, uh, train. Um, wizard... Edgar Strulga. 1703 to 1798. Inventor of the sneaker scope. Yeah, I probably won't be able to afford any others. I'm afraid you don't have yep. enough beans for this card. Alfreda Clagg. Okay, no matter what, um, where, which student is, they still sell the same card. Okay, this is the glitch. They actually, uh, they actually not here. But the game can say, oh. <sighs> Gonna be happy when this is all finished, because I do hate these. The way they did the controls are really horrible. Hello, Harry. Back for some more hippogriff riding, are you? If it isn't too much trouble. No trouble at all, Harry. So why would they make you use the ma fucking mouse to control it? They're just like the, uh... What's it called? The, um... Maybe. Consoles. There's no Quidditch, but this replaces Quidditch. But this is a lot more restricted because you can't actually uh, fly Buckbeak um, anywhere in the ground. Only this little part here. Oh, right. This is when you can't really miss any of the rings. Oh, right. Going pretty good. Well done, Buckbeak. Yes, got, got enough to get the wizard card. Oh, right. Yeah, I think it's the fourth and fifth ones that I always have trouble on. Done, Harry, and you got the collector's card too. <clears throat> Good luck to you, Harry. Oh, another smaller. Oh, right. Oh, that was close. Too high for that one. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's a little bit that can happen. Four thousand. Yes. Yeah, the uh, barrier kind of fucks you over sometimes. Come on, yes. Oh, right.
There's a good fellow. Yes. Good enough. Done, Harry, and you got the collector's card too. Probably like over five thousand you need for the fifth one. Good luck to you, Harry. I know you probably find this boring, but it has to be done to get everything. What the hell kind of glitch was that? I went through that. The sound effect didn't play. Maybe I did get it. Well done, Buckby. Mm. Oh damn it! Missed that one. There's a good fellow. Four thousand nine hundred for this. The other one's probably yes. five thousand five hundred. Yeah, it's hard to get those two there. Got it. Got it. These, this is why the barrier annoys you, because they put like, um, rings really close to them, and it just push, pushes you out of the way, so you got to force yourself in there. Well done, Buckby! Ah, I missed that one. Oh, right. Oh, yes. Got it. 5,000. <laughs> that one's actually really close. So you can't really miss any anymore. Well done, Harry. And you got the collector's card, too. This is the hardest part in the game, I think. These, these, getting these cards. No, the final Good card. To you, Harry. It's probably the one I'll have to retry a few times. But I'll show you the whole course. In case. Yeah, still. Um, 5,600. Why? Yeah, this is where the barriers really fuck you over. I think there's a few of these that are like really close to the barrier and keeps pushing you out of the way. So you miss them. Yes! Ah. Uh... There's a good fellow. Oh, come on! What the hell? Probably haven't gotten it, gotten it. Got it. How the hell did that miss? 
What the hell? Yeah, I haven't gotten it now. You can keep the bugging up. Made it! See, look! The game's glitchy as shit. Didn't even hit anything. See, look! See the barrier! Oh, I was close. Got it. Okay, I'll stop recording and redo it. Hard luck, Harry. Try again. See, this game's a fucking cheat. So I'll stop recording and start again when I get it. Yeah, got it! I actually missed one, only one that time. And I actually got the one that's incredibly hard to get because of the barrier. So the most you can get is 5,900. You did it, Harry. You won all five cards in the set. Come back any time and see if you can top your best scores. Yeah, there's no point retrying. If you got the card, there's no point doing these anymore. Yep. Okay, oh. I'm going to show you the cards now. Quidditch. Jocelyn Wadcock, 1911 to the present. Chaser for Puddlemere United Quidditch team. Record for highest number of goals during British season this century against Ballycastle Bats, 1931. Ooh. Gwenog Jones, 1968 to the present. Captain and beater of only all-female national Quidditch team, the Holyhead Harpies. Cyprian Udall. 1312 to 1357. Mm, that's weird. Only Quidditch referee ever to be killed during a match. The originator of the curse was never caught, but believed to have been a member of the crowd. On the uh, older games, like the consoles and the PS1, um, he said Cyprian Yowdle. Oh, I don't know Yeah, why this one's different. Roderick Plumpton, 1889 to 1987. Seeker for England Quidditch team. Holds British record for fastest capture of snitch during game. Three and a half seconds. Ooh. Bowman Wright. 1492 to 1560. Famous for developing the golden snitch. Yeah, uh, before that it was like a uh, smidget, I think it was, or something else, something like that. Um... Yeah, the way to used to win was to capture it and kill it. <laughs> and yeah, that's what they thought was entertainment back then. And yeah, we got all Buckbeak done. And, and we just have to have the uh, Monster Book of Monsters to do. And that one is incredibly easy. Um, yeah, we'll get those later. Marauder's Map, yeah. Just have to go back to the, uh, I'll save so I don't have to do this ever again. Um, just go to the, uh, now we've got a Transfiguration, which we get, uh, Draconophores and Lapophores. So this is, uh, Hermione's, um, uh, spell challenge. Which, this which is not in the console versions, this is exclusive to the. PC. Whoa, what the hell, Hermione? Jesus. Oh, it's this way. Um, number one. Had it. Ha! <laughs> that is funny because that's Mirabella Plunkett. She was famous for trans. Oh, buzz for, off, um, Gryffindor. We don't mix with your sort. Hey! Um, transforming herself into a haddock because. She uh, fell in love with, I think, a merman, and her parents um, didn't want her to marry him, so yeah, she transformed herself into a haddock and. Don't get it. If we want to see what's behind this portrait, we'll have to buy the password from Fred and George's shop. Don't talk so! Ooh, it's a Yes, 
what's in here? Just a couple of beans. How is... What would that need to require three fucking locks on the door? Bloody ridiculous. Oh, peeves again. Ooh, looky, looky. It's Weasel, Grunge, and Potty. Peeves. Grunge. Hermione never like actually fought Peeves armor. in the... He's locked us in! So that nickname is only for the PC. I bet we can beat him if we all cast at once. Ron, get ready to use your Carpe Retractum spell when we've worn him down. Oh, goody. Three ickle playmates. How is he able to grab all that stuff? He's a ghost. Ouch! Can't play the track. Stop it! I'm warning you! Rick the Sandra! Can't play the track! Oh, careful! Yeah, this. Rick the Sandra! Can't play the track! 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 You were brilliant, Half Ron. of that... It's easy to be brilliant say. when you're scared half to death. <laughs> We'd better get on to Transfiguration class. Peeves has probably made us late. Pumpkin pasties. Um... Oh, it's you, Potter. On your way to Transfiguration class, I'll bet. McGonagall ought to transfigure all the Gryffindors into Slytherins. What? He is up with all these fucking Slytherins. They don't even fucking do anything and they just come after us for no reason. And there's a Slytherin Hello, prefect trying to join Hello and welcome to Transfiguration class. class. One of the most advanced Transfiguration spells enables a wizard to become an Animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example... Harry's not even sitting on there properly! That's how she turns into a cat. That's what she, she is. Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepifors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Yeah. Oh, yes! <laughs> if you'll just oh, yes. step through this door, then... Yeah, this will probably be only half of the challenge. Because, yeah, Let's Buck begin Beak with just took all the part. Right. Lapifors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. It's already a fucking rabbit. Five house points for Gryffindor. Yay! Cast Lapifors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Yeah, this this is a PC exclusive spell. Um. Oh yeah, you got to do this first. Lapifors. Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. And you press the left the mouse right button to mouse eat, button eat the will make the rabbit hop. push. Push the forward arrow key and hold down the right mouse button for the longest jumps. Yeah, Press the enter key any time you, you wish to stop the spell. Show you where or you need to go. complete the task at hand with the rabbit the pumpkin and the spell will stop on its own. Well done. Now, take note of the mound of earth. Position the rabbit on top of the dirt and press the left mouse button to begin digging. Right. Use the left mouse button to chew or dig. Splendid, Miss Granger. And then it automatically teleports back over here for somehow. Um. Deposito! A shield. Yeah, whoa! Okay! Deposito! That's an amazing- that's a great reward from a fucking knight. Uh, it was a dragon card. Our first dragon! Common Welsh Green Dragon. The breed is amongst the least troublesome of dragons and actively avoids humans unless provoked. Fire is issued in thin jets. Yeah, in the console version, you can only get these for doing Ron's uh, stink palette challenge, but that's not in this game. And yeah, pretty much got replaced by the Lapifors and Draconophores challenge. Ah, 
Aha, it's cauldron cake. The cauldron cakes are rare in this game. Barely even see them. You barely get enough for everything in the game. So always collect them if you see them. If you go here. Some of these dig spots give you a heap of beans. Oh, I missed the bean. do that um yay it's probably why they put it there so the rubber doesn't accidentally collect it um I don't know you can't go back through the level if you get stuck or forget something yeah there's a lot of if you go behind here there's some stuff to collect there's always a couple of beans and pumpkin pasty. I think we go in here. Um, after... I'll explore here first. Um... Okay, Ben went behind there. Yeah, so now we go into this hole here. There's nothing else to collect. Do rabbits eat bushes? I don't know. And yeah, we jump in there. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's just one. It's just one bean. It's not gonna do anything. What's that noise? It is the fucking thing caving in. Oh, I can. Uh, nah, it's not worth it. It's just one bean. Yay! Let's move on to the Draconifor spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Yeah, the Draconifor spell is used uh, differently in this game. I'll uh, show you in a sec, just got to collect all this stuff. Um, I think it's just these two uh, pumpkin pasties. Yeah, it is. Now, listen closely. To proceed, you will need to use the dragon to get the fireball pickup. Then fly up and land on a platform. There we go. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. Off you go, Miss Granger. So you choose differently. You can actually Kick control the, the dragon. To make the dragon fly, use the arrow keys Instead of what to make console it turn. makes you do. Click the left mouse button to make the dragon breathe fire. Once you can't actually control it. Just shoots fire itself. For each pickup. What she means is one pickup equals a fire, basically. So you got to eat, eat, yeah. Counts as one. Yeah, that's everything here. So get this pumpkin pasty and light the fire. Torch, I mean. Splendid, Miss Granger. I have to uh, run out of time, so keep going until I get to the next uh, save, which is right there. Ooh, 
secret passage, and there's a, uh, what's it called? Yeah, we, to get that cauldron cake, you gotta get the, uh, uh, dragon and fly to get it. This big friggin' pumpkin is gonna give us a lot of pumpkin pasties. Okay, never mind, it's a wizard card. Hebridean Black Dragon. Britain's other native dragon is more aggressive than its Welsh counterpart and feeds mostly on deer, though it has been known to carry off large dogs. Oh no. Shouldn't have large dogs. That's gonna happen. Um. Yeah. Nothing here. Okay, now I'll go down and grab the uh, cauldron cake. I'll get the pumpkin pasties after the beans. See if there's anything up here. No. Oh yeah, got them all. Um. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, guys, it's in this part. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.